at any point considered how distinction and fortune can go off in a strange direction? Envision popular faces once at the center of attention currently confronting vagrancy, yet what drove these famous stars to become destitute? Indeed, how about we figure out number 20? Beam Williams, Beam Williams wasn't your commonplace NBA player set out toward an existence of extravagance. Drafted by the New York Knicks in 1977, the point monitor immediately earned respect for his scoring ability and authority, and was nicknamed Sugar for his smooth playing style. Williams arrived at the midpoint of more than 20 focuses a game during his top with the Knicks in any event. Becoming group commander anyway wounds, and an exchange to the New Jersey Nets hampered his later vocation by 1987. After 10 seasons in the NBA, Williams ended up out. Of the association not at all like numerous competitors, Williams wasn't ready for life. After ball monetary blunder and terrible speculations dwindled his reserve funds battling to stable work Williams. Ran into some bad luck, the once celebrated competitor confronted a disastrous reality vagrancy. The one who directed packs and million dollar contracts turned into an unrecognizable figure on the roads. Unfortunately, Beam Williams died in 2013. At 58 years old, his story centers around the significance of monetary preparation and secure future past the game number 19 Lisa. Robin Kelly, Lisa Robin Kelly, most popular for her job as Lori Foreman on the hit sitcom That S Show, had a grin that could illuminate a room. Notwithstanding, behind the effervescent veneer, Kelly fought a savage fixation that would unfortunately modify her life. Kelly's comedic timing and on-screen science with company star beauty made her a fan number one. However, behind the scenes, Kelly battled with substance misuse. Different recovery spells and lawful difficulties turned into her happening subjects all through her profession. The request of recording turned out to be progressively troublesome, prompting diminished appearances in the show's later seasons. By 2013, things had taken an exceptional turn. The most horrendously terrible report surfaced of Kelly living out of her vehicle. A distinct difference to the existence she once knew, regardless of a concise endeavor at recuperation. Kelly unfortunately died at a restoration community that very year, at 43 years old. The authority reason for death was unintentional inebriation. Her battles feature the staggering impacts of enslavement and the significance of looking for help. Number 18, Leif Garrett. Leif Garrett, a name inseparable from 1970s youngster dreams, wound up in a spot distant from the spotlight sometime down the road with his shaggy hair and enchanting smile. Garrett rose to notoriety as a kid entertainer, featuring in famous shows like Family and Three for the Street. His profession took a melodic turn when his front of eye was made for moving turned into an unexpected hit, highlighting banners of his energetic look enhanced room walls. The country of notwithstanding, the tensions of notoriety and a requesting industry demonstrated a lot for the youthful star. Garrett fought illicit drug use for a really long time, prompting legitimate difficulties and a decrease in his profession. The well-put-together picture that spellbound millions disappeared, while reports of Garrett living under an extension were probable decorated. His later years were unquestionably a battle. He limited any association with wood and maintained odd sources of income to earn a living wage. Number 17, Marvin Gaye, the voice behind notable hymns like What's Happening and Sexual Mending, encountered a terrible transgress that many fans wouldn't connect with the music legend. Gay's taking off vocals and socially cognizant verses made him a social symbol during the 1960s and 1970s. Nonetheless, underneath the smooth outside, Gay struggled internal evil presences. A turbulent individual life, including an unstable marriage and expense issue, negatively affected his psychological well-being. He fostered a serious cocaine dependence, which filled silly way of behaving and stressed associations with loved ones. By the mid 1980s Gay's profession had tolled, monetary burdens declined, his eminences from his music were botched, and he wound up alienated from his family and battling to track down stable lodging while not in fact destitute. Gay's day-to-day -day environment was not even close to extravagant in 1984. The music world was shaken by Gay's shocking homicide because of his own dad. However, his music keeps on moving ages. His story fills in as a wake-up call. Number 16, Randy Quaid, Randy Quaid, when a conspicuous face in Hollywood blockbuster wound up confronting an unrecognizable future further down the road. With jobs in films like public parody Christmas Getaway and Freedom Day, Quaid partook in a fruitful vocation all through the 1980s and 90s. His comedic timing and sensational reach made him a flexible entertainer popular. Notwithstanding, Quaid's own life turned out to be progressively unpredictable in the mid-2000s. He and his better half confronted a progression of lawful difficulties, including allegations of defacing and duping an innkeeper. These episodes, combined with detailed challenges on set, prompted a decrease in acting open door. By the last part of the 2000s, Quaid's Hollywood vocation had practically disappeared. 
Monetary misfortunes mounted, and reports surfaced of the quieds carrying on with a transy way of life and moving, starting with one impermanent home then onto the next. While Quaid at times shows up in free movies. His days as a Hollywood superstar are a distant memory. The one who once told the crowd's consideration presently strolls a boundlessly unique way. Number 15, Margot Kidder. Everybody recollects Margot unit as the least path. The daring columnist from the Superman motion pictures, she was a major celebrity. However, life was generally difficult for her, a terrible fender bender, hurt her, and made her life fall into a descending. Winding, she likewise had a medical issue called bipolar confusion, which can cause it extreme to feel cheerful and stable. These issues, alongside the strain of Hollywood, were a ton to deal with by the last part. Of the 1990s, Margot wasn't landing many acting positions any longer. Cash got tight and things got extreme with her family once she even disappeared for a couple of days in light of her bipolar. Problem in the news overplayed it such that wasn't used. Margot never resided in the city, yet tracking down a spot to remain turned into a test. The renowned celebrity wound up moving around a ton and confronting troubles with lodging. Unfortunately, Margot died in 2018, despite the fact that she's not here any longer. Individuals will constantly recollect her as a gifted entertainer. And somebody who shouted out about psychological well-being, number 14, Brett Stewart. Brett Stewart was once a very popular baseball player known for his astounding gets and expedient base running. He played for some groups, yet fans particularly Recall him with the Los Angeles Dodgers for some time, life was magnificent for Brett. Yet things can change quick after baseball. Brett didn't have an arrangement for what to do next, he lost large chunk of. Change on awful ventures and quit getting work, this made it really difficult to take care of bills and save a rooftop over his head for some time, there were even reports that Brett was destitute now, he wasn't precisely destitute, yet things were certainly harsh he needed to move around a ton and didn't have a consistent home. Fortunately, with some assistance, Brett had the option to financially recover doesn't play baseball any longer yet. He's improving nowadays. Number 13, Bobby Driscoll. Recall that multitude of charming youngster entertainers and old films? One of the most famous during the 1950s was Bobby Driscoll. He featured in Disney films like Melody of the Tempest and Peter Container, and his face was all over the place. Everybody figured Bobby would be a major star perpetually. However, being a youngster star can be extreme. Bobby didn't get to pick his vocation, and when he turned into a teen, the film jobs evaporated. He attempted to track down other work. However, it was difficult. Unfortunately, he likewise began utilizing drugs, which made things much harder. By his mid-twenties, Bobby's life had totally changed. He lost all his cash and couldn't track down a spot to live. Bobby wound up living on the roads alone and battling. It's a miserable story, and it demonstrates the way that rapidly things can turn out badly, in any event, for somebody who begins on top. Bobby Driscoll died in 1968, very early on of 31. His story is an update that kid stars need support and an arrangement for the future, in any event, when they appear to have everything. Number 12, Iran Barkley. Iran Barkley was an enclosing hotshot the last part of the 1980s and mid-1990s. He was nicknamed the Edge for his sharp punches. He brought home big showdowns in two different weight classes. He was a fan most loved known for his invigorating heights. Boxing brought Iran popularity and fortune, yet boxing vocations don't endure forever. Wounds and misfortunes negatively affected Iran's exhibition. He resigned from the ring during the 1990s, as unfortunately, Iran wasn't ready forever. In the wake of boxing, he lost huge load of cash on terrible speculations and didn't have an arrangement for making more. Things got truly extreme for Iran. There were news reports that he was destitute for some time, and that is what is happening to be in. Fortunately, Iran at last got some assistance and had the option to recover financially. He may not be boxing any longer, However, he is improving nowadays. Corey H. Corey Ha was once a film icon for teens during the 1980s and 90s, the featuring close by Corey Feldman in films like The Lost Young Men and Lie to Drive He Was Wherever. On banners and magazines, fans cherished his attractive features and appeal, yet being a kid star can be extreme. Corey didn't have an ordinary youth, and the strain to find lasting success was colossal as he progressed in years, the film jobs turned out to be less continuous. This can be hard for any entertainer yet. It very well may be particularly hard on somebody who grew up popular on top of that Corey. Began utilizing drugs. This made it considerably harder for him to look for a decent job and hold his coexistence. Unfortunately, by his mid-twenties, Corey was battling monetarily and didn't have a consistent home while reports of him being destitute may be a bit misrepresented. It's unmistakable things were troublesome. Unfortunately, Corey died in 2010 quite early on of 38. Natasha Leon, Natasha Leon known today for her idiosyncratic jobs in shows like Russian Doll and A Major Trend Dark. 
had a totally different life as a high schooler in the last part of the 1990s. She burst onto the scene in films like American Pie and The Parent Trap. Youthful and capable Natasha appeared to be bound for Hollywood fame, however, in the background. Natasha was engaging individual devils. She battled with substance misuse and emotional well-being issues. These difficulties made it hard for her to keep a consistent profession way. Film jobs turned out to be less continuous, and the tension of Hollywood just compounded the situation by her mid-20s. Natasha's life had gone ahead. There were reports that she lost her condo and was confronting vagrancy. While subtleties are muddled, any reasonable person would agree things were exceptionally intense for her. She conquered her troubles and tracked down her direction back to Hollywood. Today, she's a fruitful entertainer known for her tense characters and special style. Number 9, Dana Plato, Dana Plato, when a cherished kid star on the hit sitcom Various Strokes, had a daily existence that took a shocking turn in the last part of the 1970s and mid-80s. She took hearts as Kimberly Drummond, an insightful, breaking youth on the show. Her grin and comedic timing made her a commonly recognized name, yet behind the blissful sitcom veneer Dana's life was not exactly flawless. She battled with tension from notoriety early in life and a troublesome relationship with her folks. Unfortunately, she went to medications to adapt to a way that would have crushing results. As Dana turned into a youngster, her inconveniences raised. She was terminated from various strokes and battled to secure new acting positions. Her reliance on drugs declined, prompting monetary issues and legitimate issues. Reports portrayed her living in vans and inns as a long ways from the Hollywood way of life she once knew, unfortunately. Dana died in 1999, early on of 34. Houston McTeer was once really quick, nicknamed the world's quickest human. He ran the 100-yard run in an astonishing nine seconds, even before he graduated school. This speed assisted him with getting away from destitution in Florida and needed to move to Los Angeles with huge dreams. There, he even prepared to be a fighter, gaining from renowned mentors like Muhammad Ali. Yet things dialed back for Houston, the club that assisted him with cash shut down, and he began utilizing drug. This was a terrible decision. The person who used to be quicker than anybody wound up destitute, resting near the ocean in St. Nick, Monica for quite a while. Houston's story isn't just about sports. It demonstrates the way that even the most capable individuals can confront difficulties. Fortunately, somebody kind saw his battle, and a more seasoned lady helped him out, allowing him an opportunity to recover financially. It was anything but a gold decoration, yet it was a success for Houston number seven. Aaron Moran, Aaron Moran most popular for playing Joni Cunningham on the exemplary sitcom Cheerful Days, had a daily existence that veered off in a strange direction during the 1970s. And 80s, she was a commonly recognized name carrying giggling to crowds with her personality's cheeky character and love for music being on a hit show appeared to be a little glimpse of heaven. However, in the background things were generally difficult for Aaron, there were reports that she didn't bring in as much cash as a portion of her co-stars after Blissful Day's finished acting jobs turned out to be less successive. Unfortunately, Erin's monetary circumstance deteriorated. She supposedly lost her home and needed to move in with her family. There were likewise news reports that she was residing in inns for some time. Tragically, Erin died in 2017 at 56 years old. Number six, Danny Badui. Danny Badui was once a very renowned youngster entertainer on a hit 1970s show called The Partridge family, everybody realized his name, yet being a kid star can be extreme and things got muddled for Danny. As he grew up, he went through recovery a couple of times to find support with. Medications and liquor. This can be a major issue for certain superstars, tragically. These battles likewise loaned to Danny encountering vagrancy. As a grown-up, there are news reports that Danny resided in his vehicle. For some time left behind a popular cinema in Hollywood, it's difficult to envision a previous kid star residing that way. Yet Danny even said that fans would remember him and request signatures despite the fact that he was destitute, fortunately, Danny at last financially recovered and is improving. Nowadays, number five, Gary Coleman. Gary Coleman, the notable entertainer who played Arnold Jackson in the sitcom Various Strokes, had an altogether different life than the rich persona he depicted on TV during the 1980s. Not at all like Willis, Gary was embraced by a medical caretaker and a forklift administrator in the wake of being brought into the world with an ailment. Gary's medical issues proceeded and his young life picture made it difficult for him to land mature guidelines. There were even reports that he confronted vagrancy for a short time frame. Unfortunately, Gary died in 2010 early in life of 42. Number four, Willie Ames, Willie Ames could look natural. He featured in famous shows like Is Sufficient and Charles in Control. Once upon a time, everybody knew his face. However, in any event, for effective television star, things can change rapidly. Willie raked in tons of cash at the level of his distinction more than one million bucks every year, except tragically. He didn't anticipate the future. 
and wound up confronting Chapter 11 and dispossession. Things got truly intense for Willie. There are accounts of him resting outside under shrubs or even in parking structures. It's difficult to envision going from a major television star to destitute. However, that is what has been going on with Willie. He even said in a meeting that he felt embarrassed and couldn't really accept that how rapidly his life changed. He lost his employment, his cash, his significant up, and, surprisingly, his home. It was a major reminder number three. Ruff Lockridge, Ruff Lockridge was once a boxing champion, a sparkling star in the ring during the 70s and 80s. He held world titles, the sort of accomplishment most fighters just dream of. However, distinction and fortune can vanish rapidly, particularly in the event that you don't deal with yourself. Unfortunately, Ruff's series of wins reached a conclusion, thus did his karma. He began losing battles and went to medications to adapt. This is a perilous way for anybody, yet particularly for a competitor. As indicated by interviews, Ruff would party for a really long time after each battle, utilizing cocaine and whatever else he could find. These awful choices had horrendous outcomes. Ruff lost everything, his cash, his well-being, even his place to reside, for a very long time. He got himself destitute in the city of Camden, New Jersey. Envision going from a hero to attempting to endure every day. Reports portrayed him as looking a lot more established than his age, with medical conditions from his battles and a stroke number two. Steve Occupations turned into an easily recognized name as the fellow benefactor of Mac. His excursion to the top wasn't generally going great. He might be most popular for iPhones and Macintosh PCs today, yet in the past Steve Occupations experienced vagrancy. This may be astonishing considering his future outcome during the 1970s. Steve was a school dropout brimming with desire, however, in need of money. He chose to exit Reed School to seek after his own way. However, that implied surrendering his apartment for some time. Steve Sofa surfed with companions and, surprisingly, rested on the floor at their quarters. Things got much harder. He once in a while needed to return Void's soft drink bottles for the store cash, just to purchase food. He would likewise walk miles across town to get a free dinner at a Hare Krishna sanctuary. Notwithstanding the difficulties, Steve never abandoned his fantasies. He helped to establish Apple in his companion's carport, and in the long run reformed the tech business. His story is an update that achievement doesn't generally come effectively, and, surprisingly, future titans can confront difficult stretches. Number 1. Todd Scaffolds Many recollect Todd Scaffolds as the enchanting and naughty Willis Drummond from the exemplary sitcom Various Strokes in the last part of the 1970s and 80s. He was a kid star carrying giggling to a great many watchers. Yet for Todd, the way to adulthood was generally difficult, in contrast to his rich television persona. Todd's genuine wasn't loaded up with extravagance. There have been reports of him battling monetarily after various strokes finish. Finding reliable acting work can be extreme for any entertainer, particularly after a significant youth job. This monetary tension can prompt tough decisions, and no affirmation of Todd at any point is being destitute. As certain reports recommend, he confronted times of unsteadiness. He may as no affirmation of Todd truly being destitute. As certain reports recommend, he confronted times of insecure. He may as no affirmation of Todd truly being destitute. As certain reports propose, he confronted times of shakiness. He might have moved around habitually or experienced difficulty bearing the cost of an extremely durable home. These are difficulties numerous previous kid stars face as they explore adulthood without similar degree of monetary security they had during their pinnacle years. Assuming you partook in this video, you'll adore our next one. Thanks for watching Gossip Now.